Hi there, Lee Griggs Arnold, rendering specialist at Autodesk. And I just want to go through this cartoon explosion using Bifrost and the Toon Shader. Okay, so let's start off by going to the Bifrost browser and under Fire, double click on the standard explosion. Then if we play through it in the time slider, you should notice it renders as a, a volume. So we're going to need to convert it to a mesh in order to render it with the Toon Shader. So in the Bifrost Graph Editor, just create a volume to mesh. Connect the out geometry to the volume and the mesh to the output. It should automatically create it for you. And we don't need the volume material, so just disconnect that. Now when we play it through the time slider, you see now we're getting a, a mesh. And I'm going to let that play through so we get something interesting looking. Okay, so I've played through the animation to around frame 49, something like this. Now we just need to assign a Toon Shader to the Bifrost Mesh. And then I'm going to increase the base weight to the Toon Shader to 1 and connect a ramp RGB to the base tone map. I'm going to set these to none. For the tune uh, colors and we change these colors make them a bit more reddish let's just add another one make it a bit lighter lighter a bit more orange this one could be yellow just space these out a bit Okay, then we need to create a light. So I'm just going to create a sky dome light and connect a physical sky to the sky dome light color. Let's start off our render. And on the sky dome light, just going to change the camera visibility to zero. And in the render settings under environment, I'm going to add a Ray switch to the background just to get a white background of the camera. Okay, so I'm going to increase the exposure exposure of the skydome light. So let's bring out some of the yellow there. Just increase the number of samples to three. Okay, and then to get the pixel art look, we can go into the render settings and reduce the camera array to something like minus, minus three, minus two. So that's pretty much it. For the animation, you might want to just render out every maybe five frames or so to get that 8-bit look. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye.